Good afternoon. Well, it is exciting, right? Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about MediaTek's technology leadership. Uh, we, we have made a lot of progress in the last few years in all areas uh, in terms of mobile technology. I think we are now pretty clear a leader in mobile computing. We've been doing multi-core mobile CPU for since 2012, I believe, uh, from dual-core MT6577 to quad-core MT6589 to the most innovative octa-core, which was the worldwide first MT6592. Then we were also the, the first one to introduce the multi-core big little structures in commercial use and our tablet chip MT8153. And last year we have the first uh, 4G uh, true octa core with big little uh, 6595. We've been doing this for a long time and all of these multi-core chips uh, were managed by the core pilot technology that we invented. And uh, it actually allowed us to achieve the best performance and power efficiency at the same time. So you probably didn't hear any media tab, multi-core chip have an overheating problem that some other people may have. Now we are also introducing context-aware computing, as Jeffrey mentioned. And to do that, uh, we need to have a very low power embedded sensor hub inside. We, we believe we have the lowest power sensor hub uh, developed in our SOC. Uh, so together with that, and using context-aware computing, which not only allows us to introduce new applications uh, into the smartphone or tablet devices, but also allow us to, to even Im more improve our performance and power efficiency. Uh, I think it's probably well recognized now we are a clear leader in multimedia technology. I think for multimedia, the saying of see it is to believe it probably fits the best. Today we have five demos in the middle of the room uh, that you can see that has uh, five of our most advanced uh, image and video quality technology uh, showing there. Uh, one is, as Jeffrey mentioned, 120 hertz display. One is super slow motion plus mirror vision, which is an image quality technology. And uh, I believe uh, instant focus and uh, smart screen. And these are all in commercial uh, chip right now, product right now. And I believe you, you will find it very difficult to see any competitor has similar capability as ours in, in, in the area of multimedia. In terms of a communication portfolio, we, we have a very complete IP portfolio in terms of cellular modems and the connectivities that include Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, global position technologies, and uh, NFC. So I will address that a little bit. And both uh, Johan and, and, and Jeffrey mentioned about Core Pilot. Um, I'm very happy to, uh, to tell everybody here that we actually have been keeping involving our Core Pilot technologies and we have a Core Pilot 2.0 uh, version out there. And Core Point, the, the gist of the Core Pilot 2.0, besides keeping improving the performance on uh, task management, power and thermal management, uh, it also include into the so-called processor, uh, the GPU. So it manage CPU, multi-core, and GPU, multi-core all together as a whole. So this not only allow us to use CPU and GPU together to perform tasks to achieve better performance, but also allow us to shorten the time that we use to carry out a particular task and thereby saving powers. Uh, as an example of the usage of our Copilot 2.0 and all the multimedia technology, uh, in this MWC, we announced MT8173. It will be the worldwide first use of uh, ARM's uh, Cortex-A72 uh, 
CPU IP in any uh, SOC app application processor. So it's a quad-core devices with two big cores, which is Cortex-A72, and two little core, which is Cortex-A53. It has all the uh, 4K by 2K video uh, capability, plus a lot of our mirror vision and technology, multimedia technology that I, that I mentioned earlier. And here is a device with 8173 inside. So it's being sampled now. So you will see it being commercialized probably in the, in the latter part of this year. So it's not just an announcement, it's actually here. Thank you. And in terms of communication technology, we were probably a very good provider of 3G cellular modem, but uh, we fell behind a little bit Probably we started, we didn't start as early as we should on 4G uh, cellular modem development. But I, I'm happy to say that we are actually making up uh, very, very quickly uh, by, I think about just now or uh, in second quarter, we will have CDMA 2000, the, uh, the, the technology used by North American operators and China Telecom, included in our IP portfolio. So we will have our first uh, world mode SOC product in second quarter. Um, in latter part of this year, we will have a category six modem become a, becoming available. So by this year end, we will have a world mode modem with category six uh, LTE capability. I'm pretty excited by this, uh, by this development because not only because knowing how difficult to develop such complicated modem and how fast uh, we were able to make it happen. But also ex excited by the op opportunity uh, way ahead for us, because I believe with such a modem, we will be able to address the majority, if not all, of the market segments uh, in the world. And last but not least, I'm, I'm gonna show you a video, and then we'll see. Crossmount by MediaTek changes the way your smart devices work together. Crossmount is more than just sharing content, more than just streaming. It is a breakthrough in seamless hardware and software sharing. The simplicity of Crossmount creates a perfect flow between all enabled devices. So all your technology can work together as one. One device can access another's microphone, audio output, screen, camera, connectivity channels and more. Opening up endless possibilities. Crossmount by MediaTek is a new standard for device interaction. Unite your devices, open up new possibilities. I think, I think Johan mentioned uh, Crossmount and, and also CJ mentioned in his part. You probably wonder uh, what it is, you know, how it works. And I got the task to explain to you in the next five minutes. Uh, in a nutshell, is we use, we tend, to, we want to use multiple devices together with their function, pull together, and to become a more capable device. Okay, this may sound a little bit abstract, but I will give you an example. And this way allows all the uh, devices that you own be used together with all the so software and hardware resources pulling together. And uh, let me give you an example. A lot of you might be thinking, well, this is yet another DLNA kind of a solution that people already have out there. But it is not. It's, it's, it does whatever DLNA can do, but a lot more, okay? I think the best uh, uh, explanation can be done by giving you a, 
example. So, for example, if you in the current standard, what you can do is you can share media content between devices. For example, you are playing movie on your phone, and you can move move that content and have it shown on the on the TV. Or you can have your your when you are at home, you can have your uh, doing a video conference call. You can have the video portion showing on the TV, okay? And that that the TV show whatever incoming notifications for either call or uh, text messages. That is be within people's imagination today. But Crossman is far beyond that, okay? Imagine another case is, for example, you can use your uh, phone as a as your TV's headset. Say you want it to be quiet if your kids are in sleep while you want to watch some TV and you want to mute the TV therefore. And nowadays there are, there are headsets, wireless headset you can purchase uh, to transmit the audio signal to a wireless headset. Crossmount allows you to perform the same function. You move the audio channel to the, uh, all, to the handsets and then you plug in your earbuds and you can listen, right? Or you can do uh, multiple phones connected to a TV, and you can use that as a karaoke machine if you, if you are interested in doing that. These are still belonging to the multimedia type of application, which may, you may not grab the, uh, the, grasp the idea very clearly. An even more powerful usage of it or even better exemption is in the communications. Think of a, if you are in a in an area where, where the cell phone coverage is not very good. For example, in these basements. So on average, perhaps the receiving error rate, packet error rate, say it's about 10% on each of us our phones or on each link. However, if you can pull two put two phones together. Okay, for example, I borrow another person's modem in his phone, then he is getting 10% error rate and I am getting 10% error rate. But if we jointly pull our content together just by selecting the better outcome of the modem, we get a 1% error rate. So the link quality improved dramatically. And for 10% error rate, you cannot sustain a voice call, but for 1%, it's the typical error rate that a voice or video conference call uh, can last. So hopefully you can get an idea of, you know, we can pull all these devices that you own or you are willing to work with and make it a powerful uh, devices and then enable more applications. And in another way to look at it is uh, this way you, you know, if you have your camera in your phone or you just have a standalone camera, then you probably don't need to build in another camera in your TV or other devices. So uh, this avoid duplications and uh, you know, we, we, we want the world to be more green and I think this give, will give us a, a greener future as well. So that, sound, that should be very exciting and I, I, I'm sure this is probably not a e very easy concept to, to grasp in a short time, but I think this is one of the very exciting uh, technology advancements that, that we made in the, in the last year. Thank you.